Welcome to this video tutorial presented by Claire Rajan. In this video segment, I'll be demonstrating the use of the percentage type and percentage row type attributes in PL SQL programming. I'm connected to my database as the user HR through SQL Star Plus. Now, in the schema of the user HR, I have a table called EMP that uh, currently has data related to employees. I'm writing a query to retrieve the data in the, in the EMP table. There are three rows corresponding to employee numbers 1, 2, and 3. I'm now going to write a program that will retrieve the name of the employee whose employee number is 1. I'm declaring a variable called VENAME that's of varchar2 type uh, that has a size of 5 so it can hold a name that is 5 characters long. Now, in the body of the program, I'm retrieving the employee name into the VENAME column from the EMP table where the employee number is equal to 1. I'm now going to display the name of the employee using a DBMS output line statement displaying the contents of the variable. On executing the program, I see the name that's been displayed is Bob because Bob is the name of the employee whose uh, number is 1. I'm now going to try to insert a row into this table with the, inf uh, with the employee number 4. The name of the employee is Shelley. Uh, the salary of the employee is 5000 and belongs to department number 10. I get an error that says value too large for column hr.emp.ename actual 7 maximum 5. Now if I uh, do a quick uh, describe on the EMP table, I can see that the name of the, uh, the, 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 the data type and the size of the ename column uh, is varchar2 of 5 and the name Shelley uh, is 7 characters long and therefore cannot fit into a column that can accommodate only 5 characters. So in order to uh, successfully go ahead and insert that row, I'm going to modify the table in such a way that the width of that ename column is increased from 5 to 7 using an alter table command. It's alter table EMP, uh, modify, open parentheses, the column name ename, uh, the data type is uh, varchar2 and what I want is the column to be 7 characters long. So uh, it tells me table altered. I'm going to repeat the insert statement, insert into EMP values the row that I wanted to insert and at this time it is inserted successfully. Now I'm going to go back to the program that I had written earlier and uh, instead of retrieving the details of employee number 1, I'm going to retrieve the detail of employee number 4. On executing the program, this time I get an error that says a numeric or value error, character string buffer too small. Now the reason uh, I'm getting the error is because of the width of the, of the memory variable that I created. Now if you notice over here we have a, a declaration of the VENAME variable as varchar2 of 5. Now 5 characters is too small, uh, the width 5 is too small to accommodate the name Shelley and that's why I'm getting an error. So um, what's important for you to understand is the dependency that exists between the VENAME column and the, e, uh, the VENAME variable and the ENAME column in the table. Now uh, whatever value is being retrieved from the table is being put into the memory variable. So the variable should be large enough and of the same data type as the column in the table. Now in order to handle such uh, situations effectively, uh, instead of defining uh, a data type such as varchar2 or 5, you can use a percentage uh, type attribute. Now the percentage type attribute uh, uses the syntax of table a name dot column name percent type. Now the variable VENAME in this program has to hold a value that's coming from the ename column in the EMP table. So the percentage type attribute can be written as table name is EMP, the column that it corresponds to is ename and then you write the word write the words percentage type now after making this change to the program let's see if it executes successfully 
So this time I'm uh, not getting an error, I'm getting the name Shelley being displayed. So as a good practice, remember to use the percentage type attributes for programs in which a select statement is written or you make use of explicit cursors. I'll now demonstrate the use of the percentage row type attribute. Now let's say I want to write a program to retrieve all the columns in the EMP table corresponding to employee number four. So uh, if I create a file, I'm going to declare uh, four variables and I'll use the percentage type because I've just taught you the usage of the percentage type attribute. So I have a variable a VEMPNO corresponding to the EMPNO column of the EMP table, VE name that corresponds to the E name column of the EMP table, a variable called V salary for EMP dot salary percent type and V department number for EMP dot department number percent type. Now, in the body of the program, I'm going to retrieve all the columns. So I've written select star into VEMPNO, VE name, V salary, V department number from EMP, where the employee number is equal to 4. And uh, what I would want to then do is display all the values that were retrieved. So I'm going to write four uh, DBMS output line statements. And then I'm going to end the program. So uh, on executing this program, I can see the employee number four, the name Shelley, the salary of the employee 5,000, and the department number 10. Now what's important for you to observe in that program that I had written was the fact that I was retrieving all the columns. Now when you're writing programs where you're retrieving most of the columns or all the columns of a table, a percentage row type attribute for a variable uh, is a better option. Now what I'll do is I'll use the percentage row type attribute uh, in this program. I'm going to remove all these variables that I declared I'm going to declare a variable called VEMP4. Now I just created it because it corresponds to employee number four and uh, I'll associate this with a data type of EMP percentage row type. Now this variable called VEMP4 will correspond to a row of the EMP table. It will contain individual elements corresponding to the EMP table. So if the EMP table has got four columns, the VEMP4 variable will also have four elements. And um, it's, uh, it, it simplifies the program considerably once uh, you use the percentage uh, row type attribute. And what you would then have to do is uh, instead of retrieving the, uh, the, uh, the, all the uh, columns into individual memory uh, variables, I'm going to just write the, uh, write the VEMP4 variable. And, um, and here, instead of displaying the variables, I'm going to display the individual elements from the VEMP4 variable. Each element will correspond to a column of the table. So to reference the, the employee number, it would be VEMP4 dot and the name of the column EMPNO. In a similar manner, I'll have to change these to EVEMP4 dot ename. VEMP4 dot salary, VEMP4 dot department number. So um, when you have uh, the variable called VEMP4, which will take a, a, a structure that's similar to the EMP table. So syntactically, the percentage row type attribute is table name percent row type. And um, it's particularly useful when you have a program where you use a select star. So on executing this program, I get the same output, 
but uh, what you need to understand is that the number of variables that I declared has considerably been reduced. And uh, as I said earlier, this is particularly useful in programs where you're retrieving most or all of the columns. In this tutorial, I demonstrated the use of the percentage type and percentage row type attributes. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For more videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.